Okay, welcome to this um, sort of extension to the basic MySQL tutorial. Um, in this video, we are going to look at joins um, and a few other things. Um, I've set up a database slightly more complicated than the last one. I've just called the database Advanced SQL um, just because that was the name of the tutorial. Well, possible name of the tutorial. Uh, the window's not slightly in the right place. Okay. Um, I've made two tables on this. One of them is called users, which is similar to the last uh, table we had. Um, this is just um, a table containing um, the first and last name of three people that don't exist. Um, and then I've just made this other table called posts. Um, in here we have three posts. Two of them are by the same user, one of them by the third. Um, the post is identified by the user ID. And this is the sort of table setup you might have for a blog or um, a blog forum, maybe. Um, and we're going to use this to demonstrate a join. Um, basically, the way a, um, a join is basically for um, selecting data from multiple tables. Like, for example, if I did the query on the posts table, select. Um, I've forgotten the table names. I haven't post title post body from posts I should add user ID really user ID posts like so if I run this query you see we just get the user ID the title and their body a post on their body the post body the message they entered <laughs> um, this user ID isn't particularly useful. I mean, we might need it for something, but in terms of the information we want to display, um, the username or uh, their email address or something might be a bit more meaningful to someone viewing your website. So, what we're going to do is use a join um, to get the username from this column. Um, notice these two columns have the same name. I don't have to, but I just like to do that. So when I'm looking through the database, it's, database, it's more obvious that they are linked. Um, so yeah, we're going to do a join to link like this table to this table. Um, and the way we do that is using the join keyword. Uh, I'm just going to spread this out a bit like we talked about before. Just make it look a bit neater, especially when we add more to that line from posts. Um, and then it's inner join the table name you want to link to, um, which in this case is users, on, and then it's the table you're selecting from, so posts, um, the column that you want to be sort of common between t both tables, of the linking column if you want. Um, in our case it, they were both called user ID, so that makes this a little bit simpler. So we just have that. Um, one thing that is a bit more useful to do is uh, to specify the um, table you want to select each column from. And you do that using um, this syntax. It's column dot no table dot column. Sorry. So in this case, we would have uh, well, we wouldn't want that at all. But here we would have posts post dot post title and posts dot post body. Um, and we also want to select the user information, so we'll just add that to the end from the users table. And we want the user first name and the users dot user last name. If we run this query now, uh, we will hopefully just check I got the columns right. No, I didn't. Go back to our thingy, thingy syntax text editor. Just correct those. Then go back to phpMyAdmin and run the SQL query. Unknown column post user ID in on clause. Well, that's interesting. It's posts, not post. Sorry about that. So now we get the post title, the post body, and their first and last name, both from these tables. Just correct that here as well, like so. Um, so that's pretty much it for a join. Um, inner, by the way, that means that a result will only appear in the result table if um, there is a row in both tables. 
So say if you um, did it the other way around, like you selected a user and then got linked their posts as well, um, link their post to that user. So the basically our query will well, oh, I'll just do it instead of talking like nil nonsense. So we select that from users, in a join posts, users and posts. Now if we run that, you will see that we get um, the results where there is um, an entry in both tables. Um, if I was to do a left join, like so, we might get an error. No, you see, we get um, null and null specified for this because this user hasn't made a um, hasn't made a post. But we do get um, we do get this user back because this was, this was the table on the left. I probably should have rearranged this slightly, but this was the left table. So a left join will um, always return all of the rows from the left table. Right join t returns all of the rows from the right table. I'll just uh, say um, this is the left table and this is the right table. Um, in a join um, only returns results that um, only returns rows um, when there are results in both tables, which is what we're going to be using for this. Actually, I'll just undo because I changed those around. Okay, so that's back to where we were before. Um, and if I run it again, just for the sake of it, you'll see we don't get that null null and then the user that hasn't made any posts yet. Um, so that's pretty much it for joins. Um, one thing I did want to mention was this sort of um, temporary table or um, I'm not really sure what they're called. Fake table, inline ta table. Um, basically say if you wanted to select the users like so, uh, no, users, and c and also get the number of posts that they had made, um, like uh, count. Sorry, count, no, that's completely wrong. Count ah four times. Count um, posts. Dot post ID as total posts. What we're doing here is counting using the count function um, to count the number of rows um, in the result uh, and then I'm using the as keyword to give it an alias um, so instead of having this as the column heading we'll have this without the quotes obviously. Um, the problem with this is um, let's just put the join back in in a join um, posts on users dot user id equals posts dot post id problem with this is that it will give a syntax error or a sort of error because you're not allowed to mix grouped grouping um, columns with ones that don't group but, uh, this is a grouping column because it sort of operates on all of the rows um, and returns a single result from sort of that um, and these two are not, they're just raw they'll be a unique um, unique value for each row um, so what we need to do instead, well actually I'll just demonstrate quickly first we can do a second query just on the posts table uh, like so, select bring it down, select um, posts dot um, user ID oops, Mr. Comma posts dot um, should be count count posts dot post ID as total posts from posts group by user ID. The, way, the, the reason that adding the group by um, keyword works is because um, now we are sort of grouping all of the user IDs together so there will only ever be one which means it can work because they both only have to select one row. 
So I just run uh, this. Like so. Um, you see the user ID and their total posts. If you remember, user ID 1 had total posts of 2. Well, yeah, the first user made two posts and the second and the other user didn't. And the user ID of 2 isn't shown because that, didn't, that user didn't make any posts. Um, so we can use this query as a sort of simulated table. I have really no idea what these are called. Um, but what we're going to do is join um, this as a table if that makes any sense at all. Hopefully it will when I do this example. So I'm going to just delete that and then we're going to um, we're going to be in adjoining something and that something is going to be the query we just wrote. Um, these brackets, if you use curly bracket, not curly brackets, yeah those brackets um, in a MySQL query it signifies a sort of sub query um, so, yeah, that's how that works. Um, and this as, if you do these brackets and then do an as, that is how you um, sort of indicate that this should be treated as a table, like um, you know, like a normal table. Like if you just browse to this, like this looks the same, right? Table uh, as this table, other than the edit buttons and stuff. So you can have uh, MySQL treat the query as a table. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Okay, good. Um, so what we're going to be doing is removing that and replacing it with um, posts dot total posts, um, and we are linking to this table. We're going to get the, a table with these two columns, and we're linking this user ID to the user ID um, from the users column. Um, so user dot user ID post dot that should be user ID. User ID. Whoops. Yep. Um, so that should work um, if I'm reading it right. Let's let's try it out and see what happens. SQL paste go. There you go. You see we have the first name, the last name, and the total number of posts that they've made. Um, technically we have executed two queries here, but doing it with MySQL is more efficient than if you did two MySQL query calls with PHP, um, which you couldn't really do very easily for this setup. But yeah, um, this is something we're going to use in a, the um, upcoming blog tutorial, so that's why I've talked about this now. Um, there was something else that I was going to mention. Oh, limits, just very briefly at the end. We have this um, select query. Um, you see how it returns the two rows that are available. You can limit the number of rows by using the limit keyword, which hasn't gone bold for some reason. Odd. Um, the first, it's this sort of function takes two parameters. The first one is um, the row to start from, so I'm going to say zero, and the second one is the number of rows you want. So if I do one and then just run this again. So now we only get one row. Um, say if I started from the f first row, um, oops, we will get a different row. So yeah, that's pretty much the end of this video. I'm almost out of time actually. I'm not sure how that happened. So hopefully this um, sort of fake table, simulated table, um, made sense. And yeah, thanks for watching and goodbye. <laughs>